Hi, I'm Jeff with armadillopepper.com. Today, we're going to take a pork loin and load it up on the rotisserie and cook this guy on the grill. And then we're going to finish it with a Jack Daniels balsamic glaze. Now my pork loin has been in this brine for about 10 hours. Um, this brine is pretty simple. I used, uh, if you guys watched Donna's uh, pork chop smoke video, I used that same brine. It's a, a half a gallon of water. It's a half a gallon of apple juice. Uh, a cup of kosher salt half a cup of brown sugar, and the only thing I changed is she used a half a teaspoon of cardamom, and I just increased that. I really like that flavor on the pork. I increased it to one teaspoon. So I just mixed all that up together, and um, like I said, let this pork loin sit in the brine for about nine, ten, ten hours, I think, uh, somewhere in there. Now all I'm gonna do now is um, take some paper towels, Get any excess moisture off just to get rid of any, you know, extra salt that's laying around on the outside of this guy. Now this pork loin is about four pounds. What we're going to do, oops, I guess I'm going to need one of these guys, aren't I? We're going to get him all skewered up and then we'll season him. Okay. Just want to make sure it's fairly centered, tightened up. Now for this grill setup, you can see I removed the center heat deflector and I've actually got this burner turned off. This pan will just catch the juices. What I've got here is this Jack Daniels uh, whiskey barrel smoke chips just to give this a little smoke flavor um, while it's on the rotisserie. We've got this burner on and we've got this burner on. What I'm going to do is take some of this bourbon. I know it's not Jack Daniels whiskey, but to tell you the truth, I'm a Kentucky bourbon guy anyway. We're just going to take a little bourbon and wipe it on this guy before we get all going. And for seasoning today, I'm going to use this Bad Byron's Butt Rub. Um, this butt rub, I can't tell you how many competitions people have won with it. It's one of the best selling rubs in our store. So I'm just going to season this guy up. And then we'll turn this rotisserie on and move it around so we can season the rest of it. Get a little bit more bourbon here on it. We'll just finish turning this guy so I can get it all seasoned up. Probably take a couple minutes here and then we'll get this going. All right, you can see I've just got this one piece of, uh, it's flapping here, so I'm just going to cut this off so it's not flying around while this thing is uh, on the rotisserie. And I think we're about ready here. Let me just season this little spot. All right, it's been about 55 minutes. Can you see the juice on that guy? going to check the temperature. I'd like for it to be up around 130. Get in a fat part here. Ooh, it's actually 134. There we go. You can see. So 
so 132 131 and a half somewhere right in there which is perfect I'm going to cook this guy till it gets to 140 so now what we're going to do is start glazing it with this um, Tennessee whiskey balsamic uh, barbecue glaze and um, what I'll do is you can see it's a real nice that dark color I'm going to glaze this guy all over and let it continue to cook till it gets up to about 140. Um, you know, we want the final temperature to be around 145, uh, but I think it'll continue to cook a little bit. Uh, so let me just turn this rotisserie back on and we'll try to get this guy glazed up while it's uh, spinning here. I'm just going to shut this lid. We got her all glazed up and we'll let it continue to cook, to, like I said, until it gets up to about 140. All right, it's been an hour and 18 minutes. I want to check the temperature on this guy. It's right at 139, 38. Oh, dropped a little bit. Let me go in. So we're going to cook it just a little bit more in the thick part here. You can see there it's 140. 141, that's dropped a little bit. Um, so we're going to cook, let me see here. I know I touched the spit there, I could feel it. Let's go in here. So it's right at, in the thickest parts, you know, between 137, 140. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. I'm actually going to hit just a little bit more of this glaze. I don't know that it needs it, but I've got the glaze, so why not? And then we'll let it go, like I said, another 10, 15 minutes. And check the temperature. I notice in some of the thinner parts, it's a little over 140 already. It's been an hour and a half. This pork loin is ready to come off of here. This is a great way to get burnt, so make sure you have protective something on your hands. We're just going to let that guy sit there for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. This thing is slick, I guess, because of the glaze. Cut off. Let's see what it looks like. You can see where that spit went through it. All right. It's really moist. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it's just full of juice. It's hot. Okay. Let's give this guy a taste. Mm-mm-mm. If you like pork loin, this guy is awesome. Yeah, I don't know if it's the rotisserie. I don't know if it's the pork loin, the brine, or maybe I just got lucky. I don't know, but I mean, it is so juicy. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just juice all over my fingers. It is absolutely awesome if you like pork loin. Hey, that sauce, 
Um, you know, I didn't know how it was going to be. It's real mild on there. It's really complimentary. I mean, it's good. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment.